I would grab all of these and I would say uh, save track preset and I would call it Vox. Let's call it Vox 3 so it doesn't uh, override anything I've done before. And then I'll take it over here and I will load a track preset and I'll find a Vox 3 and click OK. And there we go. So they've all come up again. Um, one thing it doesn't copy over uh, is your um, levels here, but obviously you can just set them up again. There's different ways to do that. You can just manually um, drag the plugins that you want over like that, which is often what I'll do actually. Here's, here's another trick, you know, if you're going to do it this way, um, usually like this chain here in particular will use quite a lot of CPU power. Um, so what I will do, if I've decided, look, I am just going to use these two reverbs, I'm not going to delve into all of this. I'm just going to pull this one out here and I hit clear, gets rid of all of those and then I drag it back. Um, that's just kind of a, a quick fix for how to um, clear that out. 